Yeah, hey YouTubers, this is just uh, haven't there's not haven't seen any videos or any information around on the Yamaha RX V4A and if it supports 120 hertz pass through and VRR and AWLM, um, it does with the latest software update, uh, video output information. Currently, the screen's on 60 hertz. It's just on the uh, menu screen, but it's supporting WAV, WAV 420 at 120 hertz for HDR. And as you can see, it's allowing me to choose VRR automatic. Normally, if you try to set it to automatic, it will say uh, not compatible. And same with AWLM. Normally, if you try to set it to automatic it would say um, not compatible once you supply to unsupported games turn even for P guy this may improve quality for some games oh yeah may as well put that on HDR yeah I thought I selected that something else anyway I'll leave it at that deep color output is yeah automatic Everything, everything's automatic. Um, as for the the uh, amp, if I can remember where to get into it, oh HDMI, that's right. Uh, HDMI control, no wrong one. Oh no, HDMI control, no off. Uh, where was it? HDMI video format. Sorry, that's right. I got uh, HDMI 4, which is what I'm using, set to 8K mode. Uh, before, I didn't have it set to 8K mode at first, and it wasn't, I couldn't use VRR, I could use AWLM. And then I remembered about this, as soon as I put it into 8K mode, and went back to the TV, to the PS5 settings, VRR was set to automatic for me, it turned on by itself. So yeah, the RX V4A with PS5 will pass through uh, 120 hertz HDR at using WUV 420 with VRR and AWLM. So uh, this was software. I had to update the software. So I got it connected to the uh, internet. Uh, was 1.53 out of the box. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's right. It's in software, isn't it? Uh, uh, under function, I think. Firmware update, yep. So it was 1.53 out of the box. This is 1.58 that I downloaded. Anyway, there you go, YouTubers. That just confirms that it, yep, it all works good. And thanks for watching. Bye.